folks, what's up? Good morning. This is Michael in the wee hours of the night on the Graveyard Shift with your daily trivia question once again. And happy hump day. I haven't been able to say happy hump day in a long time. I usually have not been working Tuesday nights, but my schedule got all changed up. So now here I am Wednesday morning and it's hump day. So let's get right to it. The answer to the previous trivia question was a triple challenge. It was the Grateful Dead the Deadheads, and Jerry Garcia. A lot of information here, so let's get right to it. The Grateful Dead was an American rock band, of course, formed in 1965 in the San Francisco Bay Area, right in the middle of the 60s counterculture. This is a uh, an era and an area that I am, have always been fascinated with, the peacenik counterculture uh, movement of San Francisco in the 1960s. Love everything about that whole era. Sure enough, the the Grateful Dead. Their music fuses elements of rock, folk, country, jazz. Everything you could possibly think of went in goes into Grateful Dead music. They were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1994. Uh, I went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2012, by the way, just a little FYI, a little factoid. And uh, one of their the displays they had showing at the time was the Grateful Dead. It was fascinating. The Grateful Dead are known for their live performances, their very lengthy instrumental jams, and never playing the same set twice. They experimented a lot with psychedelic drugs. Uh, Self-admittedly, that's how they really got a lot of their sound. And they have an, just an incredibly devoted fan base, which brings us to the next answer, the deadheads. A deadhead is a fan or what kind of morphs and grows into a community of sorts of the American rock band Grateful Dead. Not long after they were discovered, a number of fans began traveling in caravans in mass amounts of people to see the band at as many shows or festival venues as they could. This continued throughout the whole duration and existence of the band. It's, it's, it's I'm, I always was fascinated with these people. I was like, what do these people do for a living? They follow the Grateful Dead around. They continued in mass droves of people everywhere they played, deadheads, and their little traveling community developed their own idioms and slang. They had their own language and their whole fan culture and livelihood all unto themselves. Uh, deadheads are an incredible group of people. So let's talk about the lead singer, Jerry Garcia. He was one of the lead singers of the Grateful Dead, and he was a founding member and the principal songwriter. He, Although he disavowed the role, he was viewed by many as the leader of the band, and he hated it. He just hated the spotlight. He was kind of an uh, introvert of sorts who... Uh, was nominated by Deadheads, really, as the leader of the Grateful Dead. He was renowned for his musical and technical ability, amazing style, particularly his style of improvisation, which was the primary source of all of those incredible Grateful Dead jams. Uh, he was quoted as saying, yeah, I just make it up as I go along, which is, is just amazing, really, when you break it down and you look at his career. Uh, this style of music originated from the counterculture days of what were known as the acid tests, where people would experiment with psychedelic drugs and just play guitar and jam with the rest of the band until odd hours of the night. He had all Jerry Garcia had all kinds of health issues, and he suffered a ma and to include a really bad lifelong drug addiction. He was addicted to heroin when he suffered a heart, heart attack while in rehab in August of 1995 that's jerry garcia the grateful dead and the one and only deadheads okay folks for your hump day for your happy hump day trivia question that brings us to december 8th on this day in 1952 television's first major tv program ever to depict a pregnant woman appears on an episode of this show even though the word pregnant and pregnancy was never used once and both characters slept in separate beds the whole time. You'd be surprised how many people from all generations and ages will know the answer to this question. Good luck.
Happy hump day. See you next time.